everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Annette Green. I'm gonna do something a little different and I'm gonna share a several part series of projects that I will be travel teaching this year, 2018. So uh, as you can see, these are all the newest Graphic 45 collections. And what I'll do is I'll take you through each one independently in its own video. So let's get started. This project I'm calling a purse box. This is Little Women by Graphic 45. And purse box with an easel album inside. And this might look familiar to some of you. So it has a little easel album that pops in there with these tag pages. So I'll show you that in a minute. So that goes inside of the little purse and we have a little magnetic closure going on in here. So it makes a cute little home decor piece too. And the handle is pretty sturdy, actually works pretty well. And I have my little claw feet on the bottom there. So let me tell you about that one a little bit more. The reason why I said this project may look familiar is because last year I did this project that, that seemed to be very popular with uh, Master Detective. Same kind of deal, made it look more like a Sherlock sort of briefcase and had the magnetic straps on there and it also had the easel album in the same way that went inside. So this had a little bit more of a masculine feel and so I thought why not go with that same idea and then do something a little more feminine using the Little Women collection and make it look more like a purse. So same basic kind of construction just a whole different look when you use a different paper collection. So what I've used in here as the base of the box is the Graphic 45 Black Book Box. And inside here come three of the black tags. And so I did have to use two more from the black tag album that Graphic 45 sells. And I used the 8x8 in the Little Women paper collection. And I had to use just two more sheets of 12 by 12 to cover the large areas on the front and the back and the sides of the actual box. I used the chipboard in Little Women. I used pockets and tags from Little Women and this is all I have left so I don't even have the package anymore. And then I used Graphic 45, just a few of the antique uh, metal brads. The ornate keys, I just used one of those. I use the whole package of the antique brass claw feet. Love those. And then, I don't know if you saw this little detail, but on the front here, there's the keyhole, there's the brads, and then I use this cute little thing. And as well, I used something from this same pack on the front of the album there, this metal kind of pull, drawer pull. So, what that is, it's from Prima by Frank Garcia. And here's a pack. So you get four of each of these. A little bit different finishes. They're called Memory Hardware and Chambray Antique Pulls are these in particular. So that's what I've used there. So I've only used one of each for this project. So you got a lot more left over. All right, and then finally, I used Graphic 45 has dies now, you guys. So this is one of three new die sets. This one in particular, um, it's not in its original packaging because I got like a prototype set. Uh, so I don't know the exact name, but this is the clock uh, square tag and lace or doily die. Anyway, it's got the little clock hands and little decorative thing there. And um, so I've used that on the album. on the front. So there's that beautiful detailed lace frame in the clock and um, just cuts beautifully on my Vagabond machine. All right, a few more things I wanted to mention and one is this handle is made with Craftex. I have discovered Craftex, I love it. Uh, it's this flexible, non-terrible stuff. You can cut it and use it for everything. Uh, it'll shape, it'll paint, which I have done here and covered with paper on this side. And it's very durable. A lot of people use it to make uh, spines on mini albums and stuff like that. Uh, also, second thing is May Arts Ribbon. So this is a silk 
1 8 inch black. I used that inside. I also used a 1 8 inch in this red. It's got this double stitch. That's by May Arts as well. Used a little bit of black twine from May Arts. And this lovely lace I found at my local Hobby Lobby. Merchant 41. Love it. So when it goes on 50% off, I just buy a whole bunch of it because it's wonderful. So I'll take a moment to get a little closer and show you a few things. The class that I'm teaching this is going to learn how to make this very durable base that you can put the claw feet on instead of right onto the box. So it gives it a little more, um, it makes it a little more substantial. You can add lace to it. But it's all made from cardstock. So I teach them how to do that in class. And then inside, I thought we'd go over this a little closer and actually look at the easel album. So as you can see, the tags are affixed using a cinch coil on my cinch machine. And the tags are upside down, basically. The bottom is, uh, the grommet is at the bottom here. And so the idea is if it's an easel album that you'll see both sides of it maybe on a desk as it's standing up. So there's places on both sides for stuff. So there's chipboard and that pretty silk ribbon I talked about photo mats, the pockets and tags mixed with uh, some cut aparts from the paper, and um, chipboard added to the pocket and tag there. Just kind of go through these. These are just very simple pages with the photo mats and some chipboard embellishment. Real quick, easy little album to make, but very fun. And especially when you use cut aparts and the pockets and tags, it's super quick. And then you just pop on your chipboard for instant embellishment, very quick. This other side looks like this. It's got this little pull out pocket and tag thing. Same deal. Little Women is really pretty, both the A and the B side of the paper. So this is the inside of the base of this easel album. A little bit of the cut aparts. And then the last page in the album has another little tag and pocket with some chipboard and some ribbon and so forth. So there's a little construction in there. And then the back has that red ribbon I showed you with some more chipboard. So it stands up nice when you're actually displaying it on your table. Or it folds up neatly to stick inside your purse. So I am teaching this project along with three other projects at Simple Pleasures in Colorado Springs, a wonderful store. I can't wait to go there. They've been there 23 years, I think. So I'll be there in May, first weekend of May, 2018. And maybe you can join us. So I will put the link to their shop in my description below and you can give them a call and see if you can get in. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.